we're talking books today. So today I decided to make a video talking about my favorite books because in the 10 facts about me video, I said I like reading and I just decided why not share some of my favorite books just in case you like to read too. So we're going to get started. Also, I didn't know that my cup was in the way the whole time. Sorry about that. But we're going to get started. Okay, so this first book is it's really short and it's more just like a book of encouragement and just stuff that you need to hear i feel like this is a good book if you are struggling with mental health depression anxiety it's a really good book to help keep you in the in the present and it also kind of helps you let go with the past and move forward but it is called stay until tomorrow by Jacqueline Whitney and it's very short I have some marks in there because some pages that just really hit so I wanted to like mark those just in case I needed to go back and this is a very good very needed book especially if you're struggling I will highly recommend 10 out of 10 it's really short it's not the type of book where you want to sit and read in one setting it's the type of book where you'll read a little at a time soak it all in and just let the words resonate with you it's very good highly recommend this book especially if you're struggling the next book I have is if he had been with me this was the first book I read this year when I really decided to get into reading and take it seriously. This book, I was staring at the ceiling. I had to go outside for fresh air after this book, the ending. Although, I I don't think this is a spoiler, but like the first chapter gives away the ending. But because it's the first chapter, you don't have any of like the details or emotions or really anything other than, okay, this happens. But once you get to the end of the book and you realize the emotion, the meaning, the reasoning for everything, it just kind of hits you. And you kind of, for a moment, forget how this book ends while reading this. Or at least I did. I I forgot the first chapter even existed while reading this. Um, I did read this more than once uh, and I probably will read this again. And if you liked this book... There's a sequel coming out in October, I think. I pre-ordered it and I'm so excited to get it. But basically, I guess I should tell you what this book is about. It's basically about this girl named Autumn and her child childhood best friend, Finny. Uh, they are next door neighbors and their moms are best friends, have been since they were in high school, I believe. And uh, they kind of go through life together until high school and they kind of go their separate ways into their own cliques and stuff. And Autumn kind of discovers these uh, feelings for Finny that she never really noticed before. And it's just her trying to decide what is best and her really just trying to be as smart as she can even though she's in high school this book literally goes from freshman year to them graduating and like the summer after graduating so it's it's really just like her high school life and experiences and just things that teenagers go through it's very good though i recommend highly recommend this book now this next book before i show it i do want to put a disclaimer this book is not for the faint of heart it's got some pretty heavy topics definitely 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 look up the trigger warnings for this book before you read it because i have seen it trigger some people and you just want to be safe take care of yourself first but the next book is girl in pieces this book was really good. Um, it's about a girl named Charlie who has lost so many things throughout her whole life. Um, 
and she's like just getting into adulthood i believe she starts out 17 and turns 18 in the book so she's like just starting to actually get a feel for life and she gets hit very very hard and she's trying to redo everything she's trying to be better and not go back in her bad habits i think that was the best i could do without spoiling anything but very 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 good i just i get it up um yeah i'm probably gonna read it again honestly it was so good and it just it felt really real and like you could understand why she was thinking that way but at the same time you wanted to like yell at her and tell her that what she's doing is stupid and wrong but you couldn't be mad at her because you can like understand and get a feel for why she chose the things that she did now this next book it's actually gonna be a series but this is like the last book that i'm putting on here and this one's a murder mystery and it's a good girl's guide to murder this book is so 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 good i read it and i was in love with the characters uh it's about a girl named pip who is doing a school project and there was a murder that happened in her town five years ago that just never sat right with her so she goes and she talks to the brother of one of the victims and they work together to solve the murder and figure out what actually happened now if you do read this book and you like it there's more to the story it doesn't just end with this book no 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 good girl bad blood this one I think I honestly liked this one better than A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I know that's probably a very unpopular opinion, but I still love this book. But I liked this one a little more. It was a little more kind of dark. And it had like a twisted secret revealed at the end. And I was not expecting it at all. I was so shocked. But this also has Pip and Ravi from the first book. And this time, she started a podcast that's basically all the events of this book. And one of her friends, uh, Connor, his older brother, goes missing and she tries to solve what happened to him. So that's what this book is. And then, the third book, As Good as Dead. This was my favorite book out of the whole series. It really, like captures you and just like brings you in and I did not want to put this book down it just I was shocked and I did cry at the end <laughs> so I did cry this one is basically Pip is traumatized from the events of this book she is trying to like fix herself in a way and she realizes that there's a little something suspicious going on so she's trying to solve it and she's thinking of putting it on her podcast maybe people will catch things that she didn't or something um but things go very bad take a turn for the worst and get really dark really quickly um i'm trying not to spoil it it's kind of hard to not spoil this book but it's it's really good and it's worth it and yeah. I would feel wrong if I didn't include the last book of the series, Killjoy. This is basically a prequel of the first book. Um, so this one happens before but this one came out last. So yeah. Uh, this one literally just a little innocent murder mystery. Um, Pip and her friends are doing a little like before i think it's before school starts um or no it's the end of school i think and they're you know having fun doing a murder mystery that her friend set up and that's basically it there's just 
they're all playing along with a little murder mystery. And it starts off the beginning of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So these are my books that I recommend to anyone, literally. I would recommend all of these to anyone. Um, they're all super good. I love them all dearly. And yeah, that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!